Hey, this is Mark, the other chopstick guy, and today we are at one of our most favorite locations. It's a secret, not gonna tell you where it's at, but man, do we love shooting here. The reason we like shooting here is because it's kind of this cool old Western town. It's got all these great textures and colors, uh, alleyways, places that it's really easy to make great photos. So lately we have been shooting quite a bit with this little light right here. Man, it is about the size of a 70 to 200 lens. It's the FJ 200 by Westcott. It's a 200 watt monolight. And guess what? This tiny light does provide some huge results and you're gonna see how we used it today. Anytime we're shooting with a model, we're always gonna find somewhere really simple. Like this little green alcove worked perfect. It actually had beautiful natural light. So we brought our model Alona in there and this was the bullpen. This is when we were warming up and just getting used to shooting with one another. Okay, so this is our first setup. We have this alleyway that we just love and it always gives us great results. So all day, we're just shooting with the 24 inch silver umbrella from Westcott on this tiny little light. And it is amazing what we can get out of this tiny light. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Here's the one thing that we encourage everybody to do. When you get to a place like this, the first thing you're gonna do is take a look around and you're gonna figure out what is your composition because without a good composition you'll never have a good photo so number one find the composition number two expose for your background so we're gonna make sure that we don't have bright spots in our background that we don't have things that we don't like that are gonna be you know bright and overpowering so we're gonna expose first before we even turn the light on once we get that down, then we're going to get our subject into place, get her posed up, and then we're going to turn our light on. And then we're just going to adjust the power and the movement of that light until we get the image we're looking for. Hey, once we were happy with that shot, we just moved her over a little bit into the stairwell. And again, stairways are always a great place to make amazing images. You just gotta watch your lines. Now this alleyway was one of those alleyways that we probably could have spent the entire day and we took one last shot, we moved her out forward to the beginning of the alley and just popped a tiny bit of light into her face to, to brighten those eyes up and what can go wrong with a beautiful model in an incredible alleyway like this. Boy, did chance favor us. We love this particular wall. Every time we've been here, there's always cars parked in front of it. Today, there was no cars. So we hurried and got our model Alona right in front of that wall and just started to create images that we really love. So we did an outfit change and we moved Alona into another alleyway. This alleyway has a bunch of uh, greenery in it. We thought it would go perfect as a complementary color to the orangey red color of her outfit. And I think the uh, results speak for themselves. Wouldn't you know it, we stepped out of that alleyway and somebody had parked their old, like 1960 something suburban out on the street. And we thought, man, this is a great opportunity to make some really cool images. We moved the FJ200 in close and got some amazing shots. Check these out.
So on this final location, I wanted to see the difference between the 24 inch and a 48 inch umbrella. So I pulled out the big umbrella and decided this is the spot to see the difference. So neither one of them's right or wrong. We all have different styles. I prefer using big modifiers. So I thought, let me just see if it really makes that big of a difference. So on the screen now, I'm gonna show you both images that I shot. The one on the left is with the 24 inch. The one on the right is with the 48. In the comments below, tell me which one you like best. Hey, once again, this is Mark, the other chopstick guy, and thanks for coming along with us today. If you're ever in Northern California or anywhere on the West Coast, check us out, look us up, and come join us on one of our live workshops. We would love to have you come out there. We thank you for supporting the channel. We ask that you like and subscribe if you've not done that, and we'll see you on the next one. Say sushi. Not me. Uh. <laughs>